Guys, this could be easily one of the most broken builds right now in our Traders game after last update. Toxic yeah, Devastator oh no. in the building, baby. Yeah, Welcome to on. Insanity. It's so nice that I have to show you it twice, baby. <laughs> Holy shit. The one and only Uncle Butcher in the building. I hope you're doing great. And if you're new here, hey, welcome to the family. Hit that like, smash that sub, or leave a hateful comment. It truly depends on your preference, bastard. But long story short, I'm using Devastator setup with some ridiculous mods. I will basically increase my damage with toxic status effect really really dope status effect we have some cool mods which can deal insane amount of damage i will apply fire bleed you name it as you know devastator by itself is kind of big built in terms of your anomaly power you can't really stack it that well so what i'm doing here to fix this problem i'm stacking armor pierce and that's oh oh my goodness i'm borrowing some mods from pyromancer class as well so some mods are really easy to find for this build but some of them are kind of pain in the ass i'm still looking for some final mods or final touches for this build because at the end it's absolutely unstoppable and at apocalypse tier 40 there is no challenge whatsoever you can easily one tap any boss in the game once your skills are properly stacked and mobs are not that difficult but before we continue quick for the sponsor diving.net if you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game then diving.net is set for you they have absolutely amazing team on consoles they will complete your order super quick everything happens through account sharing this service has been working for many many years they have tons of customer reviews, you can check everything by yourself, but now with my promo code ERBDIV, you will have 15% discount on absolutely all services. It's an amazing deal, especially when right now they have some crazy sales going on, and if you have any questions, simply drop comment down below or contact the operator. But now let's get back to this devastator, toxic bleed, pyromaniac setup, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you can name it as you wish, but main thing is that this build is absolutely unkillable, immortal, and uh, you will be like walking god. It's like power fantasy in real life. Jesus Christ. For the weapons, I'm using the juggler. Well, this is not the perfect fit. Scrap grenade, fortress, and mage rage is nice combination, but I'm looking for that cape. In the third mod slot, of course, I'm looking for Fortress. This combination is really nice. Mage Rage, Fortress, but nevertheless, I will apply Fire so that gives me some options in my build to use Fire mods. But Fortress and Rage Mage would be really, really nice. In terms of my build, I'm using Anomaly Echo, no resistance against the Fortitude, really important mod and the uh, Blood Shock, no resistance against Fortitude is absolutely must have because that's the way how we are increasing our damage. Since we can't stack Anomaly power, we are stacking Armor Resistance and Armor Piercing. I'm using of course Seismic Commander Armor set which will increase our damage against bleeding enemies and uh, of course damage to elites. Bleed damage is absolutely must have. That's the reason why I'm using Tainted Blood Tier 3 mod. Really nice mod, but Compound, that's the baby. That's that's the mod, what I'm talking about. That's the reason why I'm using Toxic Bullets as well. Well, I'm getting Toxic Effect to proc this talent. Extra damage and you're gonna spread it around really well for solo play and team play. For gloves, I'm using normal gloves and in this game it's really hard to find decent gloves and boots. Power assimilation, boulder dash mod is not necessary here. I would switch this mod easily. I have a really nice gravity leap, earthquake and boulder dash. 
Boulder Dash is absolutely broken right now. Unstoppable Force is another mod which is absolutely myself. Unfortunately, I'm using the boots, but anyway, I'm one tapping most of the bosses with ease. But in perfect world, I would use Seismic Commander Mask and I would use normal boots with uh, three mods slots. So, but I can't simply find decent boots. Simply can't find. It's pain in the ass. The cooldown is absolutely the minimum to increase our armor piercing. I'm investing some points in firepower skill tree and I'm getting some cooldown as well here for my gravity leap. Gravity leap will increase our anomaly power like crazy. After one hit, 50% increase of anomaly power for next five seconds is kind of ridiculous if you think about it. With unstoppable force, no resistance against fortitude, mages, rage, fortress, all that good stuff. The toxic bully, damage, damage to elites. Mamma mia, that's barbecue chicken baby. As my pack tree goes, if you will use normal mask, you could actually skip the bleed part where earthquake is applying your bleed effect and you could go with lava part in this tree and stack your damage. But if you want to focus only with your earthquakes or that's your main damage source, I would recommend you to invest in these uh, parts. So the skill tree, unlock these skills and uh, deal the maximum damage with your earthquakes. But I'm like hybrid between leap gravity leap and earthquake and in the middle of that i'm uh, boulder dashing everybody this is my this is my crazy build thank you for watching see you in the next one bye